Hello, Pisces. Welcome to the Wells of Wisdom. My name is Camille, and I am going to be reading your twin flame journey for Pisces. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It'll help me to continue to grow this channel, and it will help me resonate. Tell me what's resonating with you on this particular video. Okay, let's start. The first two cards you got, Pisces, is the Eight of Pentacles working on moving away, something that's tranquil. You're working on moving to a more tranquil relationship, a more tranquil person. The card that came out, the two cards that came out, were the King of Swords and the Magician. Now, the King of Swords is air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Okay? Perhaps you are working on moving away from this person and you're manifesting this or this person is working on you coming towards them. I don't know. But it's a manifestation. The magician clarified the king of swords. So either you're wanting to move away from a king of swords or you are be going towards, you're working on going towards a king of swords. Okay, the next energy is the, nine, is the three of wands, excuse me. You're awaiting results. Nine of Wands, as you see, Trials and Tribulations. And then the Four of Cups, which is a missed opportunity. So, do you feel that somebody was hemming and hawing, trying to, trying to see if there, there's procrastination here? Somebody was procrastinating trying to get a better, trying to find a better person or trying to have one more go around with a better person. The Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior card. The Four of Cups is a missed opportunity and the Three of Wands is a waiting. So either you or your twin flame has been procrastinating, waiting around on maybe a fire sign that is not going to pan out it's a missed opportunity. The reason I am saying fire sign is because to clarify, I asked, what is this missed opportunity? What came out was the devil, the king of wands, and the knight of pentacles. Okay, this is competitive. This is, this is, it's confliction and this is obsessive. So this is a toxic person. The King of Wands is fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius may mean something to you. It possibly may not. The Knight of Pentacles was clarifying the King of Wands. Okay? That is not a person that you want to be with because this person right here is a workaholic. So what are they obsessed with? They're obsessed with winning. They're obsessed with they're obsessed with being the wounded warrior and doing things over and over again and still having a missed opportunity. Okay. This king of pentacles is obsessed with his work. If that person's obsessed with their work, they're not worrying about the love interest. Okay. This could possibly be your energy. You're waiting on him and or her, does it gender neutral? And this person is worried about work. And so you're missing, uh, you're missing opportunities because that person's a workaholic. And perhaps then you are moving on to the Knight of Swords. Okay, so in the next row, you got the Three of Cups. Celebrations and Communities, the Seven of Cups. This is an online friendship. This is a fragile friendship. This is a friendship that might just be starting. This is many options, okay? And it's fast or competitive. 
Do you see that? It's fast. It's competitive. It's something that could possibly be online. A friend you've met online. This person is a sword. So perhaps it's a message that you heard from the king of swords because this would be a little lower than that energy, but maybe this is how you got to saying, I want to be with the king of swords. I'm hoping that this is making sense, Pisces. So you met someone online. It's a little fragile or beginning because there's many options online, but the knight of swords is taking decisive action, extremely competitive. Okay. And then two of pentacles. So you're balancing out, you're working on a dream. You're working on your goal. This is great hope, great faith, great wish. This is healing. This is the universal alignment. The universe is helping you align, perhaps, to your king of swords that you want to be with. I don't know who, what Pisces I'm talking to, but hopefully you're understanding. And I think you are because the final outcome, the high priestess, Piscean energy, which is secrets. And what came out with that was the lovers. Now, these are two major arcana, all right? And this is um, the star is the major arcana, the devil is the major arcana, and the magician. But these two cards mean a psychic connection. And this could be taken two different ways. The first way, this is a psychic connection that's a huge investment. This is a psychic connection in love that is a solid, abundant beginning. Perhaps that solid, abundant beginning could be with your king of swords. Perhaps this is a new business that you want. That could be as well, especially with the competition. There's a lot of competition, but there is a psychic connection that's out there. Okay. Let's pull some oracle cards to see if we can get some other messages for Pisces. Sorry if that was loud, guys. What are some other messages, Spirit? Thank you so much. I'm so grateful for Pisces. What are other twin flame messages for... Whoa, Pisces. Wow. Okay, so there's a reinvention happening. Somebody is reinventing themselves. And Pisces, as you're listening, please take this. Take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else. Okay? So, reinvention. Contemplation. Hmm. That kind of goes together. Somebody could be ghosting someone because we have the mute card. Okay? And this mute card kind of reminds me of the Light Seer's deck. Um, and it's death in the Light Seer's deck. And it's got all those pretty, um, it's got a pretty scene in this. But right now this is the mute card. So somebody is mute. And let's see, the last one is numbing. Ah, perhaps somebody is using alcohol. Um, perhaps they're using marijuana, some type of drug to numb what they already know. They're a workaholic right now. And if they're a workaholic... Maybe you blocked them and they're contemplating the reinvention. This numbing, I want you to look at the numbing card. This is a person that's in turmoil. Dark night of the soul. Perhaps it's your person, perhaps it's you. Let's see if we can get a couple more. What else for Pisces? Twin flame. What is other? It's another. Oh, divine masculine wants to come out. So the divine masculine is out. So I think that's who we are talking about is the divine masculine. He could be numbing because you've muted him or them and you're contemplating or they are contemplating a reinvention to get you back. Okay, the last card that we're going to pull, sorry for the noise, I'm taking my box, is the Doreen Virtue Romance Angel Oracle Cards. Let's see. 
What does Pisces need to know? And can I get, please, an oracle card for the Pisces that are watching? Pisces. Pisces, Pisces that are watching. What does the Pisces need to know? Whoa, codependency. Addictions, and like we were talking about that, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Numbing. Okay. Next card. Let's keep going. What else for Pisces? What other romance angel for oh healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents hmm. you could have some people that have some very strict parents very controlling parents perhaps you're a parent and you are controlling something there's not enough att attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Let me pull one more, Pisces. This is unrequited love. And I felt at the beginning of the end of the of the video is that somebody was having an issue with that King of Swords, but maybe it's the King of Wands that you're moving away from. Whoa! All right. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you, help bring you together. And the last one, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. All right, Pisces, what I'm seeing is that you figured out, I think there are two people. One person is a person that you are trying to get to. You're trying to um, come together with, him, with them. And there's another person that is a complete workaholic and you want to move away from them because you keep they keep procrastinating and you and you don't want the procrastinating and i think the procrastinating is because they're numbing and they're trying to figure out how to reinvent themselves but they're numbing and this could cause you pisces to not want to be with that person unrequited love no but if you let go of your control issues you are calling in your soulmate there is a lot of attraction. You are very beautiful. And remember, it's safe for you to love and heal those family issues. And there is codependency. The devil did show up. That, to me, is the devil card. Okay? It has been my absolute pleasure to read for you today, Pisces. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing you very soon. Thank you and have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care.